What's going on, everybody? Welcome back to the channel, Energy Healing Tarot 123. It's your girl, Empress Jim, here to drop some jewels and love. Gemini, Summer, Rising, and Venus, and a cross watcher. You guys are up because we know them cross watchers be here. General message, guys. Take what's for you. Leave the rest behind at any event. Continue to show your girls that love and support by like, commenting, sharing, and subscribing to the channel. Follow me over to those social media platforms. Continue to book those readings and per make those purchases off the website, mnmenergy.com. All our information is in the description box below. And guys, we have the subscriber giveaway. I will be picking the winners on November 1st. Check the community post. Gemini. I got, um, what did I get? Love and insanity. Crazy love. Okay. The Neo song. I love Neo, by the way. But, um, love and insanity. There's so much related. Um, uh, <laughs> hot. Passionate. I feel like this. Yeah, we got the Ace of Swords and that Lovers card just made a little peak show. Um, yeah, baby. <laughs> yeah, baby. Groovy, baby. Okay. So, Spirit, we thank you as we open up for Gemini. What are the messages we have for them in love? End of a learning phase. So this is definitely somebody that you already are possibly dealing with because it's not the end of a cycle. So nothing is completely closing out. It's just that you've reached a stepping stone in your relationship, possibly with this person or some sort of realization here. So let's see what the spirit has for our Geminis and love for the rest of October. What do we have for our Geminis and love for the rest of Somebody is obsessed a little bit. We'll see. Um, decision making time, Gemini's. There's a decision being made here, okay? Or something that came in that allowed for a decision to be made easier within a relationship here. We have craftsmanship. This is usually my um, like black magic manipulation type energy here. Okay, we have lost love. So I feel like if there was any type of manipulation that was taking place within this union, that is gone. Okay, that is done. Okay, um, somebody is finally waving the flag. It, it, it's done. It's out of here. There's a sense of renewed faith now. Somebody has woken up, I feel. Okay. Sagittarius got woke as fuck. So, yeah, somebody, there's a renewed sense of faith here. And we got achievement and good fortune, all right? So things are looking up, up, up. And I feel like somebody was definitely able to make a decision here after they realize possibly some sort of, you know, mindset has worn off, okay? And somebody knows what the deal is. They've made a decision here. They're not quite sure, but they know that they, they the love is too, is too good. It's too passionate. It's too pure. It's too real, okay? So, let's see. Six card spread, guys. Mutual energy between you and a person, you and your partner. This is your energy here, Gemini. This is the cross waters energy here. It can't switch. You know how tarot does. So, you guys do what you do. That's the internal conflict of your relationship, the external conflicts of your relationship, and our possible outcome. Underneath the deck, we got some juggling going on. Some up and down of the emotions trying to really bring about a balance. Like I'm saying, love and insanity, okay? It what the fuck okay yes but at the end of the day there is still a victory there is still achievement and good fortune so the things get did seem kind of i feel like tipsy topsy a little bit wavy or whatever but um there is a moving forward here um this relationship is in the limelight people are acknowledging and saying that there is something real pure and passionate here between you and this person I do see this evil ass looking on look at this jealous person in the background. Like I said, I was feeling like some sort of obsession here. This could be that person where this craftsmanship is linked to and that loss of love. But you see this little angry ass person in the background watching this victory move forward here. Because even the horse knows that this is nothing but love here. Okay, you guys are solid. You're looking good. 
Um, there are people who support this, but like I said, you got somebody deep up in the back who does not like this at all, okay? So, facts. But there's a release. There's a release of energy here. Just letting shit go, okay? Letting shit go. At least, yeah, letting go of this imbalance. Getting out of this juggling state of mind here to smooth shit out, all right? And looking good while y'all doing it together. I just seen flashing lights. Flashing lights. Who is that? Driver roll up the partition, please. Okay. Mutual energy. We have soulmate type of energy. Someone, this is like childlike feel. You Life partner, you felt like you've known this person forever. You could have kids with this energy. Also, it could be dealing with someone of your past. Okay, it could be dealing with past energy in the mix between the two of you guys here. Gemini, you are taking your time. Okay, you're stable with it. You're thinking this thoroughly. You're thinking it through. Like I said, love, um, love and insanity, right? Um you're you're just making you're you're taking your time here like i feel like um to some degree it's like it's too good to be true type of feel um you are still moving in the direction of victory here you're still making an offer um you're ready to put up a fight to do what it needs to be done to keep this stable to keep this solid you know to stay grounded you're staying as grounded as you possibly can here you're coming in as a life force very transforming here doing your thing you're solid, though. You're sitting here solid. Your person here has their guard up. Mm, fire energy. But they're ready to fight, too. They're ready to war. Like, I see you. You're, you're thinking you're ready to war. This person's looking back at you. Again, y'all both looking at this center energy here. And it could deal with someone of the past, okay? Past energy. Someone or something trying to manipulate this person in the background that I keep picking up on who could be obsessed with your love, the relationship that you have with someone else, okay? Um, the inner conflict between you guys is being able to take your new leap of faith. I feel like together, Aries energy here, all right? The external, yes, yeah, somebody on the outside is really stressed and worried, obsessed, staying up at night. The craftsmanship, somebody could be trying to manipulate your situation, praying and hoping on your downfall, hoping that you like lose out on this relationship, that it doesn't work out. But I feel like within your relationship, you guys, like you want each other and you're ready and willing to defend whatever is trying to come in between you guys here. This outsider that is stressed out, that is trying to cause stress in your relationship. Your outcome is, yeah, things are going to change and it's going to work out for you guys just fine. You're going to be, like I said, achieving in good fortune. That's that renewed sense of faith right there. Um, yeah, love and insanity. Somebody, people probably even look at y'all situation like, how y'all together despite all this shit? Because we're supposed to be, okay? Life partner energy there. Soulmate energy right there, okay? We have to go through these cycles. You're on a new cycle. You're on a new approach. You're on a new phase in your relationship. Something that is going to be very victorious for you guys in the end. And you know it here, okay? The decision, I feel, has been made or a decision needs to be made or is being made in regards to something or someone of the past. Something possibly regarding children, okay? So let's see. Six of Cups energy. We have Capricorn out here, or Taurus, or Virgo. We have Aries. We have our fixed energy. Scorpio, Leo, Taurus, and Aquarius. Okay. So, yeah. Somebody could be wanting to come in and say something from the past here, possibly. Okay. Um, about this new, this new beginning that you and your partner are taking, which you're having an inner conflict with you know trying to get off on the right foot trying to start off on your journey together you have somebody who wants to come in and confront this wants to talk about your new beginning here i feel you are sitting in your energy and your element being honest and truthful ready to cut their ass off when they come and they try to approach okay 
you're very woke to the situation. You know all the truth and the clarity. You want this person to come in and say what they need to say. I know that whatever it is that you're going to say may break their heart or they're already probably heartbroken and they need to continue to heal a little bit more. They don't want to see you guys stable and they're enlightened to the fact that they understand and know that they're not stable as well here. Okay, we got both these fours in reverse. They don't really want to close out the cycle here, but they know that essentially it is over. And I feel like somebody is going to voice this here. All right. When this person comes in as this night, they're rushing into this queen of swords here. Let's bam. Yeah. So they're rushing into this queen of swords and she's ready. This is you, Gemini, ready to say what the hell needs to be said because, like, you're woke, too. Like, you're woke as fuck, and you already know. You know what the hell's going on. You know this person isn't stable. This is a basket case I'm picking up. Love and insanity. This is this, is, and this person is insane. They're obsessed with your relationship and what's going on. They want to come in and have an opinion and say something here. Okay. Knight of Pentacles. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you're no longer being defensive or blocking yourself from your partner, like, at all, by far, okay? Um, yeah, you know that it wasn't successful at all in the past or, you know, trying to block this person now. Something could have took place in July or perhaps seven months ago, um, and it wasn't, like, stable. Somebody could have even probably tried to come into your house or come by your house or something about seven months ago or something like that was not the brightest idea. Um, somebody was just like, I'm not gonna juggle and be stuck juggling this here. Could have been this King of Pentacles energy here, all right? Um, this is a father, this is a husband, this is a provider, this is somebody who is stable. Taurus energy here also could be Virgo or Capricorn. But I feel like, you know, somebody was like, no, I'm not about to go back and juggle. Yeah, this King of Pentacles is definitely looking at the situation like, no, this was not going to be stable here. They got this Queen of Cups that's backing them behind them or could be coming in. This could be this person that was coming in or whatever, a mothering figure, someone that they co-parent with, you know, of the past or whatever. Or again, this is you <clears throat> sitting here, you know, supporting, being very supportive of your person when this energy comes in. <clears throat> Sorry, because then we have Capricorn here, devil energy, because it was very low vibe. So you know essentially that you have to be prepared and you're taking a very methodical approach when it comes to dealing with the energy that is trying to come in and come between you and your partner here in this relationship. Okay, Capricorn, um, Scorpio, Pisces, Cancer there, mostly Scorpio. We got heavy Taurus, okay. And yeah, heavy on the Capricorn. So very much so on a very low vibe type of energy that you're really being cautious about. Because you know that them trying to come in is only to try to cause an imbalance, something that you're not going for and that you're not dealing with. You're really focused on nurturing and loving on yourself and caring for yourself here, turning your back on whatever this past situation is, on this devil, and really focusing on your counterpart, on your person here. Your person has the nine of rods, nine of wands, depending on your deck. And we had a flipper in the deck. Mm. Mm. They had the rod. The, you could be done with a fire sign, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius here. It's like they flipped everywhere. Okay. We'll just get it like this to some degree. Yeah, but your person, the, the first card that did do the flipper was that they had the guards up to any type of mind fuck or any mind games that are coming towards. They're not playing these games. They know essentially this is that craftsmanship, the lies, the rumors, the gossiping, um, any manipulation. Um, I'm hearing somebody's trying to like trying to fuck with somebody in their dream state or whatever. But they got their guard up in regards to any of that. Yeah, allowing this tower moment to happen here. Um, like I said. Somebody is not really happy here. They know that it wasn't true judgment or the thoughts that they were feeling or the things that were being revealed and shown to them. They know that they weren't true and meant for them to happen. Yeah, they know that this energy is fight. This energy was coming in. I feel like your person was around too when this energy came and couldn't understand why this person couldn't move forward here. Okay, seriously, because your person is not caught up in the illusions. They're no longer wanting to serve this energy here. They don't want to reconnect. They don't want to go back to it. They're no longer you know, fantasizing of anything of the past anymore. They know that it's, they were bored with the option. They know that it was not a good pick and just not wanting to go back and deal with it at all. 
Yeah, because your person or whatever is not making this offer. That's why you have this external force of this anxiety and this person sitting up late at night and being stressed out and worried. Like I said, you could be dealing with a fire sign, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius here. We have that playing out in the Tower card as well as Scorpio. We have another Sagittarius card popping up in here. And we also have Pisces energy popping up in here. With Judgment, I see that as Scorpio. I also see the horn blowing as Libra. So... Yeah, your person's just not caught up in an illusion anymore. They have their guard up. They know that essentially that this devil energy is lingering around. They know that too, this craftsmanship. And I feel like your person has lost all type of emotional involvement or love that they could have or want with this person. Hence, four cups upright, seven of cups in reverse. No longer wanting to keep that as an option. Sorry about that. But, um... Yeah, like, there's no love. Like, the love has already been lost. Like, I feel like it's it's given to you. That's why you're able to sit and nurture that cup. And you're, you're, you're being very cautious and mindful of the energy that is surfacing around you and your partner here. Okay? You guys have a renewed sense of faith. And again, like I said, your person is very passionate and motivated. Like, they really are determined to, like, cut out this energy and not deal with it anymore, to dead it out. And like I said, that is why this person is just, like, stressed out at night. Worry, crying, like, I about to say, I just felt like I seen a noose. Somebody could be feeling very suicidal. Like, oh my gosh, I just want to end my life. Or just like trying to say that shit. Or like trying to make your person join this pity party. Like, seriously. Or like I said, trying to tap into their dream state and like try to pull your person back in. Suck your person back in. But I feel like they're very aware and they got their guard up. They're in there also very much so spiritually protected. I'm picking up lots of Sagittarius energy, the temperance card, the angels being divinely guided and protected here. Okay. The fool. Mm -hmm. That's pretty. Okay. Where's that flipper? Because it goes first. <clears throat> okay, so yeah, there's a lack of healing here. It could be an Aquarius and the dealings in the mix here. Or um, just not being able to fulfill the wish. Because the problem is you guys are trying to start over and trying to start new. Trying to start fresh, you know. It's like you hit the end of a learning phase and now... Like, I feel like maybe some things came out and, you know, there was a big forgiving here and now you're moving forward and you're trying to do that here. But it's like, it's not really working out that well. And I feel like the reason why it's not working out that well is because of this first flipper was this magician. Now, this magician I'm picking up in a good and a bad way. But again, I'm seeing the craftsmanship. I feel like that is getting caught up in the way because of another possible Gemini or Virgo energy here, or just somebody who is manipulating and trying to go against what it is that you guys are trying to start. Sorry about that again. Yeah. So like how I'm getting these interruptions, it's just like this person is trying to interrupt and block out this new beginning that you guys have here because they know that essentially together you both are manifesting 10 pentacles and it is there. You got the king of pentacles in your spot and that could be you, Gemini, or this could be your person. Somebody is very stable, committed, and well-rounded. They are the other half to this 10 of pentacles dynamic here, okay? Somebody knows this. This stressed out person knows this and they know that together you guys are manifesting to have this complete, stable environment this happy family this longevity this legacy and like i said somebody wants to come in and communicate there could be messages being sent via social media or text messaging you know whatever but somebody wants to come in because they're not being accepted like their offer is being rejected they don't know why they feel unbalanced they're not protected this is not what's supposed to be happening for them but no matter what it's like they keep trying to make these offers they keep trying to come in and make this offer but it's not going to work it's not supposed to work out for them this is not it's karmic okay 
The angels don't approve of this, and that's why there's no fortune here. It's not supposed to go down, okay? But it's like this person wants to come in and communicate. This is why you guys are having a hard time getting to your new beginning. Somebody is literally trying to slow your shit down. It's trying to manipulate in the background here. This person sitting here watching you guys victoriously, who was not chosen by the emperor. Oh my gosh, for a relationship, okay? <laughs> Who wasn't chosen? They're not the one. They're not the divine counterpart. They're not the one. They're not the life partner. But it's this little person right here in the background. That little, that person. It's them. That's who it is. Because they don't have an opportunity. This fire sign. I feel like you're dealing with a fire sign. Or whoever's shown up as this queen of rods, who's very determined and motivated, who has the guard up, you know, who's very passionate, especially about you in this relationship. They're not taking in their, their offer here. We got Sagittarius, we got Aries, Leo out here, Virgo, Gemini, okay, and the fixed signs again. Scorpio, Taurus, Leo, Aquarius. But they want to call, they want to mess up your fortune. They're trying to manipulate your family dynamic, but it's like they're being rejected, like no matter what, no matter what they're trying to send out, it's like it's returned back to sender. It's going back to them. They're being rejected. It's messing with their finances completely to the fact that they're becoming very codependent and they're codependent on other, other people energy. It's like, this is an energy vampire, somebody who needs others to thrive and survive. It's like you cut, you turned your back on this energy already and started nurturing your own cup. And now they're fucking going crazy. Love and insanity. You got the love, but this person is fucking crazy. This is somebody who has not healed, who, who needs to go talk to someone. They need to go talk to someone. And whoever they're around is not helping them. External factor, stress, this stressed out individual, this person trying to cause stress. I seen the moon, something with the moon. What I say? Yeah, this person from the past that we've seen in the beginning who wants to come in and say something. They want to come in and say something. They do. Okay, yeah. They're stressed out because they're sitting here waiting. They're thinking that either you or your person is going to go to them. Somebody in this relationship, this outside person feels like belongs to them and they want them, okay? They're caught up in a head in a mental prison, probably trying to get your person caught up, okay? And they don't care. They do not care about the actions that they're taking. Even though they're very premature and immature, they don't care about what they're sending out into the universe to get your person trapped. They don't care, even if it's not in the best vibration, even if the Most High does not approve of this, even if the universe does not approve of this. They do not care. And yet, because they don't care, they can't understand and see why, honestly, it looks like to me these ships are sailing away. The ships are sailing away and their ass is sitting up stressed out, hair falling out and everything at night. Because when you look at these images, Initially with your person, yeah, they were stressed out because they weren't getting an offer. But look at all that hair. They still had some wisdom. They still had some knowledge. They still knew that they, you know, well, I can move on and do better. But it's like they would not stop. They're very persistent on causing this. And now look, the hair done fell out. That luxury that they had, that nice place they were staying in, now look where they're at. All uh, because they want to keep your person caught up or keep you caught up and not allow you to move forward. This fucking crazy person. They're crazy. Either way, at the end of the day, you guys got achievement and good fortune and you have the will of fortune. So let's see. What's the message here for our gems? Yeah. Yeah. They're still going to be, um, it's still going to be a little rocky. It's still going to be a little rough. Okay. Um, the renewed faith is coming in. It's coming in. It's still going to be rocky and rough. Um, because again, this person is not getting the love that they want. Okay. Yeah. Somebody just, they don't, 
they just refuse to see that they're not they're not stable. This person isn't stable and they refuse to see that. They don't see anything wrong in their actions. They don't feel like they're decept deceptive or deceiving. But okay. Yeah, it could definitely be a Virgo in a situation here. But I feel like you guys will are gonna just take a step back together, you know, and just stay as hidden as you possibly can here, you know. Um, and just continue to become more enlightened in the situation here. You're not leaving each other alone. That's definitely not happening here. But I feel like this person of the past cannot see the truth. They'll never be honest. Um, they'll always feel like the situation is unfair. And you know what? That's just what the hell it is. They'll have to get over it. Eventually, I feel like they may stop investing in this situation, but I don't feel like that's until they come in and try to speak their peace and this Queen of Swords has to shut their ass down then the situation can finally go through a proper healing phase like it needs to. But, I, yeah, this person is just, like, lingering. Um, honeymoon, enjoy the blessed holiday time together. So, Spirit, as we close off for our Gemini's for the month of October, what is the final message? And, yes, we thank you. Okay. You guys got make the effort, and I feel like um, you... And this is in regards to your partner. Just keep doing what you guys are doing. Just keep trying to, you know, go through your new beginning here, all right? Um, not allowing these outside forces, this person who's stressed out, to continue to, you know, cause this. You keep loving and nurturing on your partner. Understand that they may have this issue going on in the background, but they are very much so divinely guided and protected. They're very aware. They're doing their damn thing, Okay. Um, yeah, let go of control issues. Definitely allow the situation to unfold naturally. Like I said, this person will be here. They will show up and you will know what to do, Jim, you or your person. Like have no fear when it comes to that. You do need to trust here. The situation is calling for you to have faith. So definitely just trust in the situation, trust in your partner, trust in the universe. Know that, you know, this new beginning is for you guys and you alone. Fate, the fortune is changing in your favor. You got a crazy ass person around you guys, but it is what it is. Don't we all, right? So yeah, Jim, this has been you guys' message. I know you guys know what to do with this. Until the next time we speak, peace out.